And good afternoon. I'm going to give you a little uh, freebie here on uh, something before my uh, 7 o'clock. My 7 o'clock is normal, but it's my 7 o'clock. So anyway, I want to show you how Leonardo da Vinci hid in my x-ray the word Sali. I also want to show you how he hid his lover's um, name Jane, Jane, I do believe it's pronounced, which is a G I A N, is what it looks. And uh, it's in, written all over, and I think it's Jane Coma. And uh, it's, um, it's very tricky because he lays letters over and over and over his works, and you'll see. So let me let you. No, I hope you can subscribe. So this is my x-ray that's behind here. And this x-ray is of the Medeon, which is this. And this so happens to be the face of this face and his pleats. And then she's over here. Okay, so we got that down. Don't want you to think I'm cheating. So now this is the word Sali. S A L A I. But if you look at it, it also looks like S U L, and then it looks like an upside down A sometimes because he, he runs letters over the top. Now with that in mind, to how he keeps repeating, because that's why it's blurry like that in different ways. If you really get this down, he actually spells it with this big S. And he continues with the A, and then he does his L, and then he does an A, and then he does an I off on the side. He does it as big as the painting. But then he continues his work by spelling out his name again. But he, he's tricky again. Very. You see the G? Okay. Let me make it a little bigger for you. You see the big G? Okay. Then he does it in the light of an of an I. And then when you reduce it, you have to follow it. But this is an A here. So, so here's the I. G I A. Okay. And then he slides over for an N. See, he does his N, and, and it, you can see it how he does it backwards. And how he also does it forward. And the reason why he lays an N upwards and backwards, because not only does it fill it, he also fills his works, but it's because he is a constant copy machine. It gets... It gets better but it gets worse because it's very difficult so when you take this and you flip it 180 degrees upside down yeah you're right if you really look at it he's got many things he's got a little elephant in his trunk he's got a man that actually rides it when you look at it it's like a horse then it's like a dog and it continues but if you look at it upside down, here's the big G again. Then he flips his his I in here. Then he flicks a sideways A, big A, upside down. See? Shoom, shoom. This is the big A, like a V, upside down. And then he finishes it, which is very difficult to see, with a twisted N in here. A lot of his ends, which I was really shocked to see the other end the way it was, a lot of his ends is a half moon. I've noticed it's 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 like a uh, in parentheses, um, but with a little bit of extra kick to it. So when you reduce this really 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 down, or you take it and you turn it, watch. It, um, I'm going to say goodbye in a second, but I just want to show you this. So when you turn his images, there's so much that you can get out of it. I mean, th there's just absolutely 
so much you can get out of his images from riding horses and um, images of, of uh, it's like this one here if you really see it it's got ears eye eye nose big nose and he's writing up here but he's off the page because part of my painting wasn't x-rayed in that section it was called lack of funds at the time so our uh, lack of uh, knowledge that uh, what was um, the best way so with that in mind I'm more educated now and I can use your subscription for financial support but you know it takes so much so I don't know if you guys are got that many friends for the reason is it takes like 40,000 views to equal one subscription which I need 4,000 of them and 4,000 of them ends up with like um, 150 bucks but 150 bucks is 150 bucks you know it buys a thumb drive it does something for me so if you can pass on the greatest painting on the planet that is a duet painting that's my opinion of the Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa and out of that Mona Lisa that's off to the right is the younger Mona Lisa and she grew up to be the older Mona Lisa on the left so thumbs up subscribe wash your hands social distance tell a friend and may you have a good time and I'm hoping I'm doing right by you guys if you can help me out that would be good if you can't I understand but um, you know enjoy enjoy okay uh, may God bless the whole world the universe and the heavens and uh, have a beautiful, beautiful, safe life. Amen.